The Risk Communication and Community Engagement and Public Health Interventions Cluster, in collaboration with the National Capital District Commission Market Management Unit, have joined forces to train approximately 60 participants from NCDC markets. This workshop will be run from the 13th to the 15th of March 2023. National Control Center for COVID-19 Deputy Controller Dr. Downey Eserom elaborates on the importance of this workshop. Basically, the people who actually mind our markets um, to make sure that our markets um, understand the risk transmission, not only of COVID-19, but we also integrated a lot of other public health intervention. So during the workshop, uh, our team will be uh, uh, educating our people, the senior people in the market and also the security guards uh, at our markets uh, to prevent not only COVID-19 but also other diseases. He further states the aims in hosting this workshop. So what we hope to achieve is um, um, educating a group of people who are gatekeepers in a, in a, in a site where um, they can educate our people and, and vendors and also people who, who access the markets uh, on risk to minimize the transmission of COVID-19, but also, as I said, of other diseases, uh, for wars like typhoid or cholera, um, and also waste management. And this, these are big problems in the city. Uh. So we're just using COVID-19 uh, as a vehicle to address other public health diseases and, and priority diseases. Dr. Eserum gave an update on vaccination in PNG and how the National Control Center will strategically carry out its plans on boosting vaccination. Also, um, we're an extra head as the executive director for the vaccine task force. Um, <clears throat> so our objectives uh, by the end of March is all the health facilities in the country that has a functioning control equipment must have COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, we, our target is 60 to 80 percent of those facilities must have COVID-19 vaccine. By June, um, we anticipate that working with the provincial authorities, uh, public health team and the CEOs to make sure that 100% of those facilities with functional control equipment must have COVID-19 vaccine. By the end of December this year, our third objective is to make sure that all the facilities, as I've mentioned earlier on, with functional control equipment must have both COVID-19 vaccine and routine immunization vaccine. Amanda Ilaitia, National MTV News.